Hi, I'm Diana, founder of Zero Work. In the previous video, we've built our first taskboard that opens LinkedIn.com. But as you have seen, the taskboard opened LinkedIn.com in a non-logged in state. So let's double check. If I open LinkedIn.com manually, just in a new tab like so, you can see that I'm logged into my account. However, if I run this taskboard like so, it will open LinkedIn.com, but you will see that the taskboard is not logged into my account. So you can see here, sign up, sign in form. So obviously the taskboard is not using my LinkedIn uh, account. Why is that? That's because per default taskboards launch um, separate, isolated browser windows uh, with no logged in sessions. That's great if you have multiple accounts. So for example, if you have multiple LinkedIn accounts and you want to build several taskboards that automate those different accounts each browser session is going to be completely isolated from the other one, even if they are launched in parallel. However, what can you do now in order to make your taskboard log into your account? So there are two options. The first option, you can make your taskboard run in your regular browser. That means the taskboard is going to open a new tab here or a new window if you enter a different Chrome profile. And they're going to use whatever extensions, logged in sessions, bookmarks you already have in your browser. So let's try that out. Let's hit run in my regular browser. And if you're using Zero for the first time, your browser is probably not going to be connected. So click on action required and follow this prompt to relaunch your Chrome. So now the taskboard is relaunching, the agent is relaunching the browser and now let's open the settings again and see if we are now connected. Yes, we are. And we can now also select the profile in which we want our taskboard to open um, to run. I'm just going to go with default. So if I hit run now, then you will see that the taskboard is going to open a new tab. So here's the taskboard operating in another tab just in my regular browser. Also, don't worry, you can still continue with your work in other tabs. So the, the manual work can continue along with the automation side by side. As you can see, the taskboard closed the tab immediately after finishing its run. So you can counter that behavior by simply toggling stay on page after run. Uh, and if you do that and hit run, you will see that the taskboard is not going to close this page after it finishes its run. Okay, so as you can see, taskboard finished, but the page is still there. Okay, the second option to make your taskboard log in to your account is to use cookies. So let's say you do prefer to run your taskboard incognito. And in that case, you can simply enter cookies right here. So you need to pass your logged in authentication um, session to your taskboard. You can pass cookies to your taskboard by uh, installing an extension called Cookie Editor. So I'll post the, the, the link into the description below, or you can just search for Cookie Editor on the Chrome Web Store. Then you add it to Chrome, you add extension, just like you do for any other extension. Then you click on Puzzle, um, icon right here and then pin the extension to your toolbar so that it's easily accessible. Your next step is to go to the website that you want to get cookies from. In that case that's going to be LinkedIn. So we need to open LinkedIn and we need to ensure that um, that I'm logged in at the time when I'm going to pull the cookies. Okay, now I need to click on the extension. This is um, uh, my first time using it after the installation. That's why it's first asking me to grant it permission. So I'm going to grant permission to all sites, allow. I'm going to click on the extension again. And now all I need to do is click on this button called export, then select the format and zero work needs the JSON format. So just hit JSON, uh, return to your settings and simply paste. That's it. That's all you need to do. So the taskboard now has access to logged in session of a particular website. If you need your taskboard to have also logged in a session for let's say Facebook, then you just add another cookie right here and then you paste your cookies for Facebook. Okay, now let's run this taskboard and let's see if that worked. 
So you will see now Taskbot is going to be launching LinkedIn in a incognito session. So you can see there are no extensions here on the right. There is also no Chrome profile being shown. This is a uh, isolated browser session. But you can see that the Taskbot is logged into my account. That's because I passed the cookies into the Taskbot settings. So that's how you can make your Taskbot log into your accounts. And I'll see you in the next videos.